It's beer o'clock on Milo Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Lab Culture Brewing Company or brewery and it's a can of their Hopwood New England IPA coming in at 6% ABV in a 440 milliliter can. Everybody's brewing New England IPAs at the moment. It's, it's what everybody seems to want to drink. I love them. Without further ado, let's get this can out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the can opening. Beer in the glass then. The ABV smack on, 6%. The look of the beer so far looks tremendous. Lovely, hazy, grapefruit juice looking beer. Uh, we got a three finger white head. Slow moving carbonation making its way up the glass. That looks amazing. That is New England IPA to me. Hazy straw colored yellow beer with a three finger white head. Let's get the aroma. They're based in Redditch in the UK, not far from the Cadbury's Bourneville factory. Aroma. Yeah, that smells terrific. Citrusy, grapefruity, mango, passion fruit, orange peel, fleshy blood orange. It smells quite a kind of, I know this might sound strange to some people, but it smells light and airy. If that makes sense, it, it, it smells like it's going to be incredibly drinkable. After drinking over 5,500 beers, probably pushing 6,000 beers now, counting the beers I haven't reviewed, then you just seem to pick up another level, a, a, a sixth sense when it comes to beer. A little bit floral, a little bit tart-like. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, smack on, smack on. Stone the Crows, Stone the Crows, what a fantastic beer. Really juicy, really drinkable, very refreshing. Nice temperature. I've got it down in the beer cupboard down there. This, it's winter, more or less winter time now. And I'm not a fan of winter, but there are benefits. My beer cupboard, that's against the back wall of the house, makes my beers the perfect temperature without having to put them in the fridge. Get the rest of the can in the glass. Yeah, lab culture. They're kind of new to me. I'll be perfectly, perfectly honest with you. I'm very lazy. They sent me a lot of literature, a lot of paperwork, um, posters and banners and stuff with the with the beers, but. I, I'll be honest with the brewery, they were kind enough to send me the beer. It is an in independent beer review. I'm as honest as they come when it comes to beer reviews, but I just haven't had a chance. I've been sent quite a lot of beer recently, and I just haven't had a chance to read the literature. But that's okay. I know they're from Redditch. I know they're producing really good beer because I like their milk chocolate, their dairy milk chocolate stout. That was really good. This is a fantastic example of a New England IPA. So sometimes in life it's just it's just about going at something. It's just about grabbing hold of the can, looking at it, realizing what it is, opening it, pouring it, and getting stuck into it. A little bit of tartness, loads of passion fruit, loads of mango, loads of grapefruit, orange peel, fleshy blood orange. Little bit of sweetness to begin with, little bit of bitterness on the back end. The, bi the beer is nicely balanced. It's a nicely balanced beer with that sweetness and that bitterness. At 6% ABV, there's no real 
taste of any alcohol at all. Um, and if you notice, it's a beer that I'm, it, it's going down very quickly. It's a beer that, that if I wasn't reviewing the beer, I think I would have probably more or less polished it off by now. And that's only after drinking after a few minutes. It's just one of those chuggable, lovely, refreshing, beautiful beers. Juice, juice in a glass. Right, our favorite American export, the New England India Pale Ale, uh, thick, juicy and hoppy, all the things we love about beer. For our first New England IPA, we packed this beer full of citrus, Simcoe and Chinook, giving it a tropical nose, followed by pineapple and mango with the low bitter finish you expect from a quality New England IPA. Absolutely. And if you're new to beer, I'll give you a little bit of a, a very quick introduction to beer, if you're new to beer. Um, if you want to grab yourself a tea bag, boil some water, make, two, make yourself two cups of tea. First cup, put milk in the cup first and the tea bag, add the water. Second cup, while you've still got boiling water, put the tea bag in the cup. Without milk, add the, add the hot water. There'll be a certain astringency from the tea bag without the milk. It's because you're boiling the leaves, you're boiling the brew. It's gone above the kind of, for me anyway, I don't like strong kind of astringent tea. I, I like, I'm always a milk first type of guy. Uh, I'd rather the softer flavours of the tea. Without getting too technical, I like to keep it as simple as I possibly can for you guys out there. It's a bit like that with beer. If you want the, the, the astringencies from the hop, if you want the bitterness from the hop, then you chuck a load of hops in the boil. While the beer is boiling, you chuck some hops in there, or quite a lot of hops, and you, you end up with an IBU, a higher IBU, international bittering unit. And that goes between, I'm getting too technical now, and I? That goes between 0 and 100, what your taste buds can try. Um, I'm wrapping myself up now in a, in a big mess, aren't I? I'm just getting too technical with it all. Um, but anyway, yeah, when you add the hops to the boiling water, they become astringent, they become bitter. A bit like that cup of tea without the milk. What brewers do to brew a New England IPA, quite simple, is that they let the brew cool down, goes in the fermenter, bang, then they start adding the hops in the fermenter. It's called a dry hopping process. Most, if not 95% of the hops go in the fermenter and then it's a slow, a much more kind of, you're pulling flavour rather than feeling, which is a bitterness. A bitterness is a feeling rather than flavour. There you go. That's my simple, hopefully quite easy to understand way of, of brewing a New England IPA. Pardon me. I'm going to rate it. I like that beer enough to give it a Stone the Crows 9 out of 10. So 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers.